The cyber security uh, levies or deduction has been greeted with uh, so many critics across Nigeria. Your take on that? Um, good morning. Thanks for having me. So I was, um, as I'm speaking to you now, I'm the spokesman of the obedience in this particular place. So everything that my leader says, but I'll be, I always relate to the people. When I saw it, I was I, I was very sad. Well, then I had to go and read what, what my, my our leader will say. Peter Obi, yeah, Peter Obi said, I which I, 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 I which I which I agree to. That um that that that, that is the greatest form of wickedness. We want to tax the citizens. We want to tax them to death. Peter Obi's plan for Nigeria was that if you become the president, he's going to empower the people so that they can pay tax. But this one now, they are just collecting tax, tax on everything. See, my brother, a time is coming that. If you are working on the street, they are going to tax you. Now, I go now taxing people for, 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 for climbing bridges in Lagos with your load. We saw it in Bega. I go work and I'm not taxing people now in Lagos. So, a time is coming for you to talk. This government, they are going to tax you. They are not taking anything from you. No, they are not giving you anything. They are taking something from you. A government of frustration, a government of, 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 of a, a very irresponsible government. There's no job, there's nothing. All you want to do is to tax the people. Do you understand what I'm saying? You want to tax the people, you want to frustrate them and everything. Now, now, ju just go and look at all our, all our bank charges. Look at the amount of tax that people pay every day. Do you understand? Ah, they send you 5,000 naira. You know how much we dotted from it? Enough is enough. A time has come for us to tell ourselves the truth in this part of Nigeria. I knew, I see, see I saw these things coming. But you know, my people here, they, they, they could not see it because of spaghetti, uh, mag uh, rice, the acre of rice, the acre of, um, of, of gari, because of um, um, uh, uh, granite oil. They give them, they, they, they lost their sense. You give them 5,000 naira because of 5,000 now. All those money that they have collected now, they have finished it. They have finished it now. All you can say is, I told them, this man is not coming. To rest, this man is coming to put you more suffering and hardship. You understand? I, he was former governor of Lagos now. Okay, now look at this now. Everywhere now. There's no way you walk on, you know, like four people to beg you. One thousand and I cannot buy you anything in Nigeria. Still not. See yet. You see, go to tax the people. Look at all the bank charges, SMS charges, deposits. Everything now is open for For what? You understand? You tell yourself the truth. The citizens are not happy. They are, they are, they are already frustrated. Majority of them they cannot even afford to eat anything. You are still taxing them. With all the subsidy removal. Yes. What are they doing with all these funds? PZ have left. Microsoft, they've left. Companies are leaving. There's no job for the citizens. You are still taxing them. Then you are not giving contracts to your to, 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 to your to your cronies. That is the problem now. But I saw these things ahead and I told them I want them in this place. Don't vote for sentiment. Don't vote for your type of religion. They say no. It's, 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 our, it's, our, it's our Okay, face the consequence. So what are Nigerians doing and obedient? According to reports, uh, you have over 6 million of obedient. What are they doing to lead the way? Or will it continue in endless uh, critics, uh, in media war and all that, ranting? You know, what is are you expected to do to save Nigerians? Um, what, what do you want us obedience to do? According to INEC, they say that our leader, Peter Obi, took third. So where is the second? You know what I'm saying? So, obedience, we are, we are, we are the only opposition in Nigeria. We are the only one that's telling the government that the truth. Others, have, others they have sold their birthright. You know, when you sold your birthright, you, you cannot say the truth. So with the obedience, we are just saying the truth. And telling them this is the right way to go. Because, because the way Nigeria is now, nobody's, the poor people are not enjoying it. The poor people are tired of Nigeria, that's the thing. You understand? Nigeria is already divided, but people don't know. Nigeria is divided between the poor and the rich. The, the poor are, they are tired. They have nowhere to go. That's why you are hearing the other agitations, you are hearing the agitations. They are tired. Because the rich are getting richer. The politicians are enjoying. Look at, look at the government now. They, are, they want to increase the salary of the, of the chief judge of Nigeria. Those ones are enjoying. But the poor people, people are, somebody is collecting 20,000 naira in this recession. How does that mean? How, 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 how do you want you to feed his family? That is the truth now. There's time for everything. 
this is the time to tell yourself the truth. I've never seen this type of this type of this type of irresponsible government in my life before. This type of wicked government like this. You want to tax to the, want to tax people to death. We ask nothing. You are not providing anything. You remove for a subsidy. Now, okay, what as an idea, what are you enjoying nothing? There's no subsidy education, no fuel subsidy. Everything is tariff increase. Yes, sir. Tariff increase in electricity. Um, um, uh, 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 now, you are subsidizing people to go to Mecca, to go to, 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 go, to go to art. But is there subsidy on education? The poor man said, can he go to school? But the, the, but the politicians are enjoying. And I'm always angry when I see poor people now, now defending the politician. That's what they call Stockholm Syndrome. When you are in love with your chains. The poor people now, they are in love with their chains. They call it Stockholm Syndrome. When somebody loves his chains so much. You understand? You, you, somebody that has impoverished you. Somebody that all his families are abroad. You are defending him. And you are hungry. That is the problem. The truth in this part of Nigeria.